Good afternoon. We are here at Woodlands Police Station and uh, we have come to check why Mr. Chris Zumani Zimba, the former political advisor to President Eddie Garungu, has been detained without charge. Our expectation is that as a democracy, as a nation which is ruled by laws and not men, if someone does anything that is suspected to be uh, against the law of law, something that constitutes the breaking of the law, that person is supposed to be charged with an offense. It does not make sense whatsoever to detain a person without charge. You pick a person up, you throw them in cells, you don't tell them why they are being thrown in cells, you are not charging them, then that is no longer law enforcement. It is not law enforcement whatsoever. That is harassment of a political leader. And we have said this again, and uh, we're going to say it over and over. What President Haga in the is doing is not law enforcement. It is harassment of the opposition. We said this um, uh, a couple of times in the past, and uh, we have not seen any change from uh, government. Because for as long as the police are being used to harass the opposition, they cease to be state police. They become a vigilante group of the ruling party. And Zambia is a constitutional democracy. Zambia is a nation that is guided by laws, and the law is very clear. If someone is accused of an offense, charge that person. Once you charge that person, the person then becomes entitled to be given either police bond or to be given uh, bail, taken to court and they apply for bail. When you get a person and just throw them behind police cells, with no explanation why they are behind cells, with no access to a lawyer, no access to their relatives, the way uh, Mr. Uh, Zumani Zimba is being kept here at Woodlands Police, then that is it, mental torture. That is abuse of authority of office by the president and by the officers in the Zambia Police Service. Because any person, any person under the law, they are entitled to access to a lawyer, they are entitled to access to their family. They are entitled to have their friends and relatives bring food and water to them. And for us, we came here about an hour ago, and uh, we brought some water, we brought some food, we brought um, uh, uh, a few things that you might need, toiletries, like tissues and the like. But we were told that there is a clear instruction from uh, State House to the Woodlands Police Station that they should not allow anyone to visit Mr. Christopher Zumani Zimba. Now, since when did the police begin to report at State House? Our expectation is that a police station like this one, Woodlands Police, they are supposed to report at the division, Musaka Province Division, which is at Central Police. And the division is supposed to report at Force Headquarters. There is nowhere in the chain of command of the Zambia Police where the police are supposed to take instructions from State House. So when we are told that there is a clear instruction from State House that Mr. Christopher Zumani Zimba should not be allowed access by anyone, not even his wife is being allowed access, not even his lawyers are being allowed access, then you begin to wonder, what kind of law enforcement is that? Is that really law enforcement? Or that is just harassment of the opposition by the ruling party and by President Haka in the HRM? Uh, today to be a very sad day, in the history of our country because in 2021 when the Zambian people voted for this new administration they thought they were moving from um, uh, one administration to a better administration but evidently we've seen that this administration is not any better in fact this administration has started to abuse their authority very early on only God knows what we are going to be in in about two to three years from now uh, towards the end of their mandate as they become more desperate to try and win the 2026 general election. Only God knows that. So my appeal to the Republican president is that can you stop abusing your authority? Can you stop uh, uh, giving instructions to police officers in terms of who to arrest and uh, who to persecute and uh, who to mentally torture? Because that is totally unacceptable. You are not going to remain the president of this country forever. At some point, you are going to become a former president, 
and you will want to be accorded the privileges uh, of the rule of law. What is happening at the moment is very far from a fair application of the rule of law. We are not saying that any person, whether in opposition, should be exempted from the law. But learn to enforce the law without harassing people. If you are enforcing the law, if Mr. Christopher Zumanizimba has done anything wrong, you were supposed to effect an arrest and charge him and tell him, oh, you are being charged with the ABCD. And once he has been charged, the police will decide whether to give him bond or not. If they don't want to give him bond, they are not supposed to keep him here in the cells. They're supposed to take him to court so that at court he can be able to apply for bail from the magistrate. If the magistrate decides to um, decline that bail application, then of course we'll go to the next court, which is the High Court, and appeal that ruling all the way to the Supreme Court. Otherwise, it makes no sense whatsoever. There is no justice whatsoever to uh, detain someone and keep them in cells without any charge. That is totally unacceptable. And my appeal to the president is can you stop harassing people and start enforcing the law as opposed to harassment of the citizens? You need to start doing that now. Otherwise, posterity is going to judge you very harshly. Thank you.